Hong Kong. So the viaduct closure, sound transit expansion, a growing problem with homelessness. There are some major issues facing King County right now and the council. And there's a new chair at the head of the table. Rod Dembowski is his name. He's been named the new council chair and he's here in studio with us for your first TV interview since taking that role. Good morning, Rod. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks uh, for being here. So well, let's talk about the biggest issue that we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, and that's the viaduct finally closing. Uh, how is King County preparing for this big closure and traffic mess. Well, it's the number one thing we do at the county and that's move people. 400,000 people a day get on a metro transit bus, 125 million people a year. And so uh, we are amping up our capacity over in West Seattle, which will have a major impact. We've just launched a new app called Ride 2, uh, where we'll get you on a, a bus. It'll pick you up and take you down to our passenger ferry, bring you downtown. You don't even have to get on the road. Avoid the via doom altogether. Interesting. It's going to be an interesting time. So we'll watch that carefully. Also, uh, there are some other big issues, as we just mentioned. What are some of the, the big priorities for you as chair to try to get in front of the council members? Well, we've got a big year coming uh, down the pike. We've got our regional parks levy, which voters renew every six years, and uh, that's going to take a fair bit of work. We also have our emergency medical services levy. It'll be coming in the fall. This is the number one place in the world to have a heart attack because you're more likely to live here than any place else in the world because of Medic One. That was founded here at Harborview Medical Center, which is a King County hospital, and it's funded by our levy. So we're gonna ask voters to renew that again. Uh, and so public safety, public health, transit, the environment, all those issues are what King County does. I call us the quiet government that works. And then you've got the issue of homelessness in King County, which yeah. is huge too. Uh, what do you have to say about that? You know, every year about 30,000 people in King County become homeless. The untold story is that our system takes 25,000 of them and houses them. So we're working on the 5,000 a year gap mm. and uh, we want to reduce the inflow and then build a little more capacity. In December, a couple days before Christmas, we opened a new shelter, 100 bed shelter up at Harview Hall, put an old county building to use. Uh, and then the executive and Mayor Durkin have proposed a reform of our homeless response system. So that's going to be a big lift this year at the County Council. We're going to work to make that more effective, more efficient, uh, and see if we can't bend the needle on that. Yeah. You know, another big issue, too, we have to ask you about is the heroin epidemic. Um, there is now a, it's two site locations that are recommended by this task force to have safe injection sites. Yeah. Highly controversial yeah. issue, one of the highest, most controversial issues I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them in Seattle. There's another location that no city seems to want to own right. up to. Uh, to own. What can you do about these safe injection sites? Well, first of all, know that they are recommended by our public health experts. I was chair of the Board of Health for a couple of years, and this is about saving lives. It's not for everyone. It's not the total response. We want to have treatment on demand. Uh, but for those that aren't ready or able to get into treatment, mm -hmm. um, we would rather have them be alive than dead. Okay, so and, and we want to have a place where they can go uh, and meet a health professional and get into treatment. So with respect to citing these right now, frankly, they're on hold. We've got a federal government that said don't do it. Uh, frankly, we're busy with the with the broader response system. Mm -hmm. Seattle is somewhat interested more than anybody else in, in maybe trying to start one. They're looking at that. Uh, but it, it's controversial. It's tough. Very. But we've got to try to keep people alive. And when you talk to survivors who have come past and made it out of addiction, you know that sometimes taking a controversial step uh, is worth it. We're mm -hmm. talking about people's lives, people's children, people's yeah. grandchildren. Yeah, we should point, sure. also point out that you've had a few disagreements with Executive Dale Constantine on a number of issues like the, the youth jail, funding over yeah. at Safeco Field. It's a great stadium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. now T-Mobile Park. Yes. Um, so we're, we're, have you gotten anywhere on, on those things? Well, Dow and I uh, get along. He does a great job running the government. Every now and then you're going to have a difference uh, in opinion when you've got elected leaders. Mm -hmm. But our system here, unlike the Washington DC system, which is apparently dysfunctional and broken, works. Uh, we get those things resolved. Uh, we have an open debate. You cast the votes and you move on to the next issue. Yeah. All right, Rod Dombowski is the new chair of the King County Council. We appreciate you stopping by here. On Thanks Kong. for having me on.